Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression on this foundation that I recently got. I know it's been out for a while but I only recently got it. And it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I wanted to get it because I heard a lot about it and I just wanted to do like a first impression on my channel here. Just to show you guys all about it. It's got a SPF of 20. It will have a bit of a flashback. It says it's an all day flawless coverage and it has a lasting power of a primer, the coverage of a concealer and the blendability of a foundation in one. And it's shine free which is good for people with oily skin which I have oily skin here, here and pretty much in my T-zone. It's a little bit oily here, so, but I've been told I'm more normal than oily. I don't know. So I'm hoping this foundation will be good and won't make me look shiny throughout the day. So I will apply it for you guys and then I will give you my thoughts on the foundation. To apply it, I'm going to be using this um, Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. I'm just going to pretty much apply it the way I usually apply foundations. Put some on my hand. If I can. Oh, it has a lock on it. That's very clever. It has a lock. That was only like two pumps and I've almost covered my whole face with it so not sure if it's a full coverage foundation I think it's more medium to light so I've just used all of that foundation that was on my hand and I don't even think fully covered my whole face so I'll just grab some more And that was just one more pump. Got a big pump. So that's just one coat of foundation. It, you can still see my red, red parts on my cheeks. So, and a bit on my chin as well. So I might just see if I can cover those up again. So just pump out some more. This is actually a really good match of colour. I think that's all covered now. It barely looks like I even have any foundation on, but you and I both know we have I have foundation on. This foundation looks good, very well matched. I barely even had to bring it down my neck to match it to the rest of my skin. It's light to medium coverage, probably more medium coverage, but with medium coverage, you can still see some of my red spots on my cheek and on my chin. They're the places that I like get the most red. So just adding a bit more coverage to those spots was good. That covered it, pretty much. I probably will need to set it with a powder, but any powder, I think, will do. I will see how it fares, so let me just do the rest of my makeup. I forgot to mention that um, the foundation I used is in Buff Beige 825 is the shade and it's a really good match for my skin so that's good. I really like this foundation it's a nice medium coverage but it's very buildable the coverage so even if I want like a medium full coverage with my makeup look it can become that. And 
doesn't look too oily or too shiny. I think it might just be the bad sunlight that's sort of reflecting. Now that I have um, concealed underneath my eyes, I will powder my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 230 Natural Buff. I always conceal my under eyes and then set them and then I set my whole entire face. Foundation, concealer, under eye setting and face setting. That's always how I do my face. And I never do it any other way. And now my face doesn't look as shiny as it did before in this light. So that's great. These two are the perfect match. This one is still shine free and it still looks nice, but because I'm oily, I need to set it with a powder. So great match. Two o'clock was when I first applied the foundation. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon and it seems to be pretty much the exact same. Um, except for it's got a bit more shiny on my chin. It doesn't seem to have budged. Applying all the blush and bronzer and the highlighter didn't seem to move the foundation at all. But I did set it with a powder. So it still seems to be good. It's 4.30 now so it's been two and a half hours. And it seemed to have gone a bit from the sides of my mouth. But I did have something to eat. So that could be the reason why. It doesn't seem to have settled in any lines on my face. So far this foundation is good. I'll come back in um, a few hours and we'll see how it is then. Hey guys, I'm back for today. Um, it is now 8 o'clock so this has been on since 2 so it's been 6 hours and the foundation looks great still. It's great. It's still it's shiny in like my T-zone. It's still not gr what bad enough that I have to powder or anything. So this will be it for this and is going to be a first impression on the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I know this concealer has been out for a long time but this is the first time I've ever bought it for myself. So I hope you guys enjoy the first impression on this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is in the shade 10 Light so which I think is either the lightest or the second lightest colour but I do have pretty light skin which I hate thinking about that okay I will get right into applying this concealer it's nice it's got a little dofa little applicator just looks like one of those lip gloss ones that you sort of do I'll just apply it right underneath our eyes looks like it actually really matches my skin color which I don't really want because I like this area to be very very light and bright but the main reason I did buy this concealer was to pretty much wear it when I didn't want to wear much foundation or much makeup so I'm just going to blend that out with this Real Technique setting brush Now I'm just going to highlight my nose with this concealer, see how that goes. I think this concealer, unlike my other ones, would be more for a no makeup makeup look probably it's a good concealer 
it does conceal all my blemishes, but it is the same colour as my skin tone and I don't really like concealers that are the same colour as my skin tone because they don't really highlight the parts of the face that I like. But it is a great concealer. If I had it in like a lighter or one that's like a brightening one, then I probably would buy that one to br brighten up underneath my eyes. But it's really, this is really good at concealing blemishes and everything. So now I'm just going to set my whole face, the under eyes and my... Now to set my under eyes, I'm just going to use this e.l.f. high definition setting, under eye setting powder. And I'm going to use the um, tapered highlighter F35 brush. Now I'm going to just set underneath my eyes. And we'll set the concealer on the eyes as well. So now that I have set my under eyes, I do like this concealer, so I will keep you all updated. I might do a no makeup makeup look and I'll use this concealer for that just because I think for that sort of purpose it's better than for an under eye. Now when I last applied the concealer it was about 2.30. It is now 4.30. So it has been two hours and it has really creased underneath my eyes. It's like really, really badly creased. Like not even the prolonged way, which still creases un underneath my eyes. But it's not as bad as this. It's not a great one for underneath the eyes. But probably for little spots and like an everyday look would be great. Because it's still great coverage. And the coverage doesn't seem to have moved. Even though I did set it with the powder. I always set everything with a powder. So this concealer I wouldn't recommend for underneath the eyes. For like two hours this has really got bad. I won't um, come back in a few hours for the concealer because it's not worth it coming back and telling you it's even creased even more or because it won't get better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and in like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you, you can see how I got this act, this whole makeup look for next week's and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.